Feature Friday. The freshest. Bitch. <sighs> oh, yes. Okay, so now we're gearing up for the big guys here. We get Morissette and another super requested song from uh, one of her uh, Wish editions, right? Where she's singing Against All Lots by Mariah Carey. Yeah. Again, she's we know. another Mariah Carey song. Eh, that we just know she's gonna murder. Which covers don't usually go that well. That's why I'm always so they like, what? Don't. The but when it comes to Morissette, I just am 100% secure that she, one, is going to make her own, put her own twist to it. And two, uh, there's not going to be any type of disappointment whatsoever. I you think, know? say someone didn't know who Mariah Carey was, right? And didn't recognize this song. Mm -hmm. You play this version, right? I would bet quite a bit of money to think that they would think that's her song. I agree. She's got, I, I was going to say. You know what you, I mean? Absolutely. If you haven't heard the originals or her, like, I was so confused when she sang her original song, King Canelang, because for me, it was like, that could be, because she does such a great job in all the in covers. Her covers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are so, they, they become so personal to her. Like, I thought all the covers were, were her songs. Yeah, yeah they, they, they could all be her songs, because the way that she interprets, the way that she um, uh, finds the true meanings of the lyrics and everything that comes goes beyond it, and she really invests the whole of herself into the song so i agree so uh, if you don't know uh, a certain song by the original artist you would blindly believe that that is her song because she does an amazing job at, at covering it it's like it is it becomes hers i agree oh so we should good. also say um uh was it was it called oh my god i forget the name adonis adonis uh, uh he's the the musician and, and producer of uh, some of some of the covers, and they also play together. Nice. Uh, one of the nicest people. Uh, he he actually watches some of the videos, and uh, <clears throat> he's commented in some. Uh, and yeah, so you know, so it's, it's insane that you know some of the musicians that have have watched some of our videos, and you know they work with Morissette and 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 they perform with her live. And uh, I just want to give him a, a shout out because they're the nicest people. Like other people were commenting as well about them. They were so being so nice. Uh, Just give me a second. I'm coming. I'm coming. Adonis. Ooh, she's got someone like you covered. Adonis Tabanda. Tabanda. Apologies if I'm pronouncing it wrong. And Kiko Salazar. Yeah, so it's amazing that some That's of these like guys awesome. are. Just do. Maybe they will watch this one. I hope. And. Uh, but honestly, I, I just got a shout out to all of her team, her musicians, Dude, it's her, insane. the the chorus line people, the production team, everybody that works with her. It's literally elite level. Yeah. They really are. Like, <clears throat> the work they do is unbelievable. True musicians, dude. Honestly, who can play the bass guitar, the guitar, the piano, do all this backing vocals? The chorus and, like, lines. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's just crazy. They they are just as talented as she is. And, and, and I actually... Just shows the level, you know? It just shows the level. I actually watched some of the, uh, the stuff he has <clears throat> on his channel, excuse me. And... Uh, they do, you know, they obviously perform live together a lot of the time, and it's just bizarre. And the funny thing is that, you know, it's with a little camera and stuff, so he, he, does, he doesn't have the best audio, but it still sounds like, what the hell yeah, is going on? Yeah, it just gives on? you a really good, like, little snippet of the magic that happens live. Yeah, I, I yeah, big fan. I'm, I'm really a big fan, so. Big fan of her, big fan of the, her, the whole team, everything Musicians. she does is just beautiful. Yeah. She has such a deep end, such a strong back end. It's, it's wonderful. So this is... What Against All Odds by Mariah Carey in the Wish Boss. Let's on go. the Wish Boss on 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 the Wish Boss. In it, isn't it? Inside it. <clears throat> oh there they are. Oh there they are. See what I mean? They're, everybody's just so cool. Oh, an electric drum set. I freaking love this song as well. Seven five. I love that she has some musicians there. All I can do is watch you leave. As we share the laughter and the pain. And even share the tears. You're the only one 
It's very weightless, but weightless. Mm -hmm. It's very uh, light. Light, yeah. It just floats <coughs> up upon the surface, but without losing grounding. Because those are two things that happens really easily. You can go, you can go very light, very breathy, and just kind of stay on top, which is a sound very popular nowadays on on pop. You hear it everywhere. Like a lot of female, even male vocalists, they tend to go, you know, breathy, light, nothing that has weight on it right but they also lose grounding i see i see they also lose that base that resonance that that it just comes from a sort of down a power. here it's not power it's it's the resonance okay. it's like you would be miss, missing the base i you're see listening i see to a song right it just feels a bit empty then. It, yeah it's it's weightless but her technique just so beautifully done she really understands how to work all of her tiny little muscles inside of her larynx it, to, to such a degree that she can combine the two without giving you power vocals but without losing the grounding the, the essence of the song so sort of itself. like that golden balance that i think as, as a singer i guess you're always trying to be able to reach not yeah. overshooting not undershooting always in that in you know, the middle ground, it's 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 one of the toughest things to achieve. Like it really is. I think I think I, I've mentioned it a lot before when it comes to radio shows like this, and I think this is probably the best example of it that we've seen, where one of the hardest things to do, and I and I can't emphasize this point enough. If you are a performer and you've ever performed in a radio, or if you're someone that knows someone that works in radio, there is something very difficult about radio when it comes to performing. Mm -hmm. And it's very hard to explain unless you've been in there because it can go either amazingly well or it can go, it can be really bad. It and can be very underwhelming. It's just so. Exactly. But yeah. it, 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 and none of those would have anything to do with you. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Because really there's is. so many weird factors of sound frequency. The, 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 the setting itself, it just changes the way that you sound naturally. Mic equalization, sound engineering. Uh, uh, Everything is so different to what you would be used to when you're singing in an acoustic setting, for example. And it's so bizarre that. Plus, I actually believe the sound equalization in the bus itself, they equalize it to the guest. So they Brilliant. get the best, Brilliant. the best out of the um, out of the singer or whoever's in, in on the show. Props to Wish because that that's the right way to do 100%. it. A hundred percent. But usually that is not the case when you go to a radio show. You have a very generalized um, equalization and master uh, masterization of of the sound itself. Yeah. So you would get a very generalized. Here's your mids. Here are your bases. Here are your tops. Make that's, it what work, gonna, yeah. that's what you're gonna work with sometimes it's not the right setting for the type of song or at or atmosphere that you're uh, you're singing or you're in so it, especially when you have instruments in the booth as yeah. well yeah, yeah. um so uh, this proves my point a little deeper because yeah you you would have to equalize the the instruments and the the uh, vocals individually yeah, yeah they, for them to to work the point i was trying to make is that because you're in radio as a singer maybe someone at the level of morissette you're always aware of that type of stuff and also she has a, she has her own monitors obviously the, the headphones uh -huh. so you can tell kind of by the way she's uh, uh, handling lows and and mids that she knows kind of what her, the equalization it's it's for and uh, it's playing for and against her in certain places. Mm -hmm. So she's maneuvering as she's concentrating on singing and it's yeah. just so much going on in that brain. It's it, a joke. It, it, it's so much going on in that in that bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so much happening there because one, we're not seeing the the uh, 
the technicians that are behind that window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not seeing the people that are behind the cameras because you can they're live. Like you can see them moving cameras. They're not static. Do you think they're ro uh, robotic cameras? I th perhaps that could be. That could be a case. Yeah. It is also space. And let us know if you know that. Maybe Manager. is it actually cameramen or is it actually uh, or is it robotic cameras? Could be placed fixed yeah. cameras. Yeah, I think you you might be right. Go on, but um, yeah, it's awesome. Oh sorry, I didn't. No 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 no. I'm I'm finished. <laughs> I'm ready to keep listening. <laughs> I wish I could just make it turn around See how she's just Turn around and see me cry There's so much I need to say to you So when you reach us right You're the only one who really knew me at all So take a look at me now <laughs> yes, come on, go girl. Oh my god. Take a look at me now. I want her juju. Beautiful. That was so good. Oh sweet. I like I wonder what um That brand, was wild. I wonder what that brand was wild that drum kit is. I think it's a Roland. It's a Roland. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a good brand because big, the biggest pain of having a uh, electric drum sound like that is that they're not very responsive. Even top end, they lose human they have touch. That, yeah, and they have that little latency. Yeah, Roland yeah. seems to do a really good job at it. Uh, try a few of those, they're great. Oh, but so, that, was, that was great. It seemed very comfortable, so I'd love to see him say whether he really liked that drum kit for an electric drum kit or not. True, that's a good point. I, I like that, that she brought. I like that she brought musicians into the the that environment. You know, it also makes a way harder job for the sound engineer in the play. It must have been going <laughs> crazy. Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. But I, I think they see, did a great job. I can also see why they didn't bring uh, stop bringing musicians into other videos. Because yeah, it, makes it it's quite, Yeah, it's quite a, it's quite a task. It's yeah. quite a task to 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 manage, especially if you're. Streaming live if you're going live in the moment, the quality of the stream, yeah. Or like that, maybe, yeah. So, especially it happens quite often though. Usually, when you're in a radio show, you are live, live you, yeah, get, yeah. you get that your your practice, your you equalize everything, you get ready, and then that's it, you're on air, and that's it, and yeah. that's it. And you, you get one shot, and that's <laughs> what I mean. That's that, it. There's so many levels of difficulty, variables, yeah, yeah and, there really are. And playing in radio shows at that level, it's pretty damn difficult. Yeah, it, yeah, and again, she just blows me away. Like, she just flips into you know a full-on belt, and she's from at the top of a range, and like you can see the veins popping, right? But the sound—you close your eyes, <laughs> and the sound is just so clear, so effortless, Clean, so yeah. so the technique in that girl. I just I just want that juju. Bottle it, bottle it up, and give it to me. I want it too. Where you got, Crazy. Where you, got, you have to speak to her father. Ah, oh, definitely. Anytime. That, guy, that guy's a wizard. If you're available, if you want to look into this one. <laughs> <laughs> Those two are a wizard, dude. They are, really. I, I don't think they could um, duplicate that. I think that the fact that she's got such a great communication, because you can tell father. with her father, and, and to take her to the place where she is now, it, it just goes beyond comprehension. And, and that only happens with certain people, like with uh, like the type of chemistry, professional chemistry that only happens with a handful of people and you can't duplicate it. Like to just get that one special person that taught you or teaches you constantly or coaches you constantly, 
really well and you. understands every single little detail about you and it, it honestly it only happens with a handful of people and how lucky is she that it happens with her dad Amazing. i mean that that's beautiful amazing and i also learned why is, uh, she's called asia's phoenix uh-huh because that's the show she came from ah i think that's what it is gosh darn it no she lost the show yeah she, she, she didn't lost win it. she lost the like a talent show yeah. right that's very popular in, in in philippines and she came back from the ashes kicking then, butts you know she's having a successful career so. yeah is it actually Asia's Phoenix, the show? Or is it just... I think she's that's, called... what, that's what they called her. Gosh darn it. Ephra, what the heck how come was I reading? Just, you read and then it goes woof well, over your head. Problem is, there's <laughs> so many. True. And do you ever get to that point where you read the same thing so many times? Then you're kind of like, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And then you kind of just... No, you read it so many times, it loses sense to you. <laughs> you know, it's like when you say a word so many times. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, donuts, 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 donuts. And you're like, ah. Donuts? And then you're like, eh, donuts. Bagels. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Good point. Anyways, let us know what you'd like us to watch uh, from her next. Uh, you have mentioned some live performances, which we're going to go on to that. So uh, do keep on the lookout for those. Definitely. Sup, people. If you're a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> Sup, people. If you're watching this and you're a rapper or a beat producer. A singer, a ghostwriter, or even just somebody who likes new music. And this is for you. Feature Friday is the show where we make new music every week featuring your tracks, your raps, your lyrics, or yourself as an artist. There's no catch. This isn't one of those weird posts where you click on the website and you're trying to order airports and they say it's free and then you have to pay like a hundred thousand million dollars for uh, shipping. Uh, this is completely free. We understand how difficult it is in the music industry to get seen and there's so many amazing rappers and singers and beat producers out there. So this is just a place to showcase your skills. We showcase our skills, we make music every week, which we love doing anyways. We get to show new artists to new people and new people to new artists. So if you'd like to get featured next, message me here on Instagram or email me and we will get in touch pretty soon. Please do it fast because uh, a waiting list is forming and we don't want anyone waiting around. Keep scrolling by. See you Friday. Peace. Bye-bye.